Hello everyone and welcome back. Mr. Knight is here with you again. Today we're going to focus on toxism. And we're going to spend a little time looking at, looking at some examples of toxic responses. But before I go into any of the examples, let us dive in the definition of what toxic responses are. And so toxic responses are responses to stimuli by movement or change in position. The change in position by organism is called locomotion. Before I go any further, I just want to remind you about something. A matter of fact, I want you to note something. What I want you to note is that toxic responses are directional and are done by motile organisms, which simply means the organisms can move from one place to another, and they will move in a specific direction to or from the stimulus. Another point to note is that taxis responses can be positive or negative. Now, if the response is positively tactic, then the organism moves towards the stimulus. So as in the demonstration, you notice the insect is moving towards the stimulus. On the other hand, negatively tactic response, the organism moves away from the stimulus. As in the demonstration, the mosquito is moving away from the stimulus. Now, the types of toxic responses that we're going to focus on will include phototoxis, chemotoxis, thermotoxis, hydrotoxis, thigmotoxis, and of course, we're going to mention geotoxis as well. Now, let's look at phototoxis first. Now, phototoxis, as, it, as the word suggests, is responding to light. So, for example, in moth, moth will move towards the light. And so, moth display positive phototoxic response. Roaches, on the other hand, they will move away from the light and go towards the dark. And so roaches will display negative phototoxic responses. Now let's look at chemotoxis. Chemo, as the word suggests, is responding to chemicals. And so let's take, for example, in deer, the, the male deer, which is the buck, will move towards the female deer, which is the doe. In this case, the female is releasing a chemical called pheromone. Pheromone will be released when she is indicating that she is ready to mate and reproduce. In the case of the ant, ants will move towards sugary substances. So they respond to the chemical for sweetness. For these two examples, they are positive responses in terms of chemicals, and so we could call them positively chemotoxic responses. In the case of mosquito, mosquitoes will move away from repellent, and so the mosquito will respond negatively to the chemical in the repellent. And so in this case, it is negative chemotoxic response. And let's jump into thermotoxis. Thermo is responding to heat. Now, turtles, for example, will move towards where it is sunny to bask. And the reason they do this is to obtain radiation or UV rays from the sun so they become warm and also to absorb vitamin D3, to be specific, so they can help in development of their bones. Now, for us, for example, in human, 
once we are cold, we go to somewhere that is warmer. And so we may, we may move towards the fireplace to get some warmth. And in these two examples are examples of being positively thermotoxic. Now let's look at hydrotoxic behavior. Once it is hydro, it is responding to water or moisture. Now let's take in, in for the example hood lies in a choice chamber. And a choice chamber is an, is an apparatus that gives choices. And so in this case, the choices will be between moisture and um, being a dry area. So the organism will move between the choices. And so over time, the wood lice, most of them will end up going on the, the area that is moist because they prefer the moist condition over the dry condition. And so wood lice will display positive hydrotoxic behavior. Now in thigmotoxic behavior, is responding to touch. And so, for example, if you should try to touch a snail, what the snail will do is to crawl under its shell for protection. So move away from the stimulus of touch. And so this will be a negative response to touch, moving away from the stimulus. And so we're going to conclude our lesson at this point, and we're at the end of it. And I just want to remind you that I truly appreciate you watching these lessons. And I also want to leave this with you, is that our response to uncertainties should not be fear, but instead of faith. So until next time, folks, Mr. Knight is out. Take care.